Continued advances in research have resulted in more options for those living with ovarian cancer. Trends show overall survival rates increasing over the years. But for each individual's sake, there is more work to be done. Beginning a treatment journey with ovarian cancer may feel like entering a difficult science class. But education is the first step to making informed treatment decisions. Whether it's genetic testing or opportunities to participate in clinical trials, know that there are experts to provide support in addition to the scientists working every day for this very important field. I think the first thing I would say to someone who's newly diagnosed is you are not a statistic. Statistics are old and the therapies that are available now are better than they've ever been in the past. We have more options and that's because of all the research that has been happening. I'm learning a lot more stuff now than there was back then 16 years ago. Um, I was tested for the BRCA test 10 years ago, and I just learned that it's very important that you get tested again, because um, everything is always changing. There is an incredible need for ovarian cancer research, and for even just letting women know, making people aware of it. Well, what we need is information, and the information to make intelligent decisions about what our choices are, and information on how we can actively manage some of the side effects that come with the treatments that we take, especially um, ovarian cancer used to be thought as a deadly disease. And a lot of women are able to manage it over a long period of time, five, 10 years or more, as a chronic disease. I think when I was first diagnosed, and I hear this a lot from other people who are newly diagnosed, we, we're just not aware of what's going on in the ovarian cancer community. Why don't we know that teal is the color of ovarian cancer? Why isn't more being done? But as I connected to the community and learned, there have been a lot of people working really hard for many years um, in this space. and. Um, there's just so much happening. There are more drugs that have, are available to us now. Um, there are more ways to um, participate in clinical trials. And um, the advocate voice, the survivor voice, is actually involved with researchers as they're developing new clinical trials and trying to find new ways to treat ovarian cancer and make things better in the future for us. The research and the advancements in the field of ovarian cancer treatment give me great hope. They give me great hope, and I'm excited about it. It's, it, there are so many new discoveries being made every day by so many scientists who are working so hard for us, for those of us with ovarian cancer, to figure out what exactly why is ovarian cancer so resistant in, in some ways? What gives me hope for the future is the fact that there's a pipeline of research and new research projects on the horizon. Uh, and also that I can live with a disease and enjoy each day. Be Loud is a video series that aims to share support for the ovarian cancer community, share guidance with women newly diagnosed with ovarian cancer, and shatter the silence for a disease that two-thirds of women across the world know nothing about. For more information and additional chapters to come, visit ocrahope.org.